All right, guys, welcome to lesson four. And this is going to go very quick. Um, I'm only going to do a few of the problems because I think you can actually do most of this. I just wanted to make sure you had a clear understanding of the directions. And we'll start by reading the directions. And we'll start here. Each shape is one hole. So this is one hole, this is one hole, this is one hole, and this is one hole. Estimate, which means we're not going to make them perfect, but we're going to get as close as we can to equal parts. To equally partition, remember partition means divide, the shape and shade to show the given fraction. Okay, so for number one, for all of these, we're going to do one half. So we need to partition or divide it, each shape, and shade in to show the given fraction. Okay, so one half. On a circle, we're just going to go like this, right down the middle here. And that's an estimation. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. And then we're going to shade this part in, and that gives us one half. If we do the same on this one, we could go like this, but are those, the question is, are those two shapes equal in size? And I would say no, because this side is different shape and space than that one. So that's not how we're going to partition that one. We're going to partition this one right down the middle. So now we have two equal pieces. This piece is the same as this piece. And we just need to shade one of them. We'll shade this in. There we go. Ooh, the rope is up next. So this is one shape. We do need to cut it in half. So we're just going to partition it here. And we'll make a little shade so we can show like that's one half. And on the last one for this, number D, we are going to, you could partition right here, but I think this is really hard to get equal pieces. That's a really hard equal piece. So we're not going to do it that way. We have to get equal pieces, or as close to equal pieces as we can. So there we go. That gives me one equal piece here. And this is the same size as this. And now we just need to shade one of them. I'm going to shade it in. Don't spend a ton of time on the shading. And those are all halves that we've made. Now, on the rest of these problems, you are going to go into one fourth on number two. So you do fourths here, thirds on number three, and that's it. Again, this is the homework, not the problem set. And let's go on to page two. It's page two, all we're doing is we're playing a game of match. Uh, let's look at the directions. Each of the shapes represents one whole. Match each shape to its fraction. So we need to match these shapes to the fractions over here. So does anybody see one? Whoops. One fifth. One fifth going once. One fifth going twice. I see a third. So let's take a look at this one. This piece has one, two, three, four sections. This one has two. And we are looking for something that has one, two, three, four, five. That has five sections and one is shaded, so that would be one fifth. So we're just going to connect those up one fifth to there. Let's look at one half, which is down here. One half, remember that means there's two pieces, that the thing's been cut into two pieces. This has a lot more than two pieces. So does this, so does this. But this one has two pieces, and they are equal. 
So there is one that is shaded out of two. That's one half. So we're going to come here and draw that one up. All right. When that's all I'm going to do, you need to finish the rest of these, as well as the rest of the problems on the first page. And then do the exit ticket when you are done. Good luck.